Cow milk is not good for you. It causes inflammation in the body. It's mucus forming. Milk and dairy products are linked to osteoporosis, heart disease, acne, asthma, diabetes, cancer, eczema, and even ear infections. Milk was part of my diet. I didn't know how to eat breakfast without having milk. The dairy industry is not only a multi-billionaire business, but also it's really cruel. The way they treat the animals and they keep milking and milking and milking uh, regardless if the cow is sick. I found out about how the dairy industry works and all the antibiotics, hormones and Hot scenes that you can get with the milk that you're drinking. I don't really want to get all that in my body and I know that all those things contribute to weight gain and I always had that fight. Think about it, uh, a cow is supposed to feed a baby cow and not a baby human. That made me think, I don't really want to drink cow's milk anymore. Like, I don't want to get the size of a cow. Raw milk might have some benefits for humans, but when the milk is pasteurized, which is the case uh, here in Canada, that it's, uh, raw milk is not legal, you only can buy pasteurized milk. All the nutrients are basically killed, and also the enzymes that make um, the body able to digest the milk. So what do you have for, for breakfast if you don't have milk? You can perfectly make your own almond milk or any nut milk or even hemp milk and get a lot of nutrients and a lot of calcium. Calcium is one of the things that people are concerned about when you tell them you shouldn't drink milk because this asthma can be caused by it. So they freak out and go, where do I get my calcium from? And almonds have a lot of calcium and a lot of vitamin E and a lot of potassium and iron and a lot of fiber. It fights cancer, it fights heart disease, it fights diabetes. Being conscious about all that made me really give up on milk. The one that got me most, that is my favorite, is almond milk. And you can add stuff and make it even better. You can have almond milk, chocolate almond milk, vanilla almond milk, carob almond milk, um, different ways of having your almond milk that doesn't get you bored with the same thing over and over again. The best part is that it's super easy to make. It's always good to make your own milk because you will be lessening the chances of having preservatives in the food. You just have to add almonds and water, blend it together and that's it. It's ready to drink. The proportion is one part, almost three parts water. Put the almonds in water and soak them for 12 hours and then I rinse them, I change the water and I let them sit for another 12 hours, so in 24 hours total. And then I just put them in the blender with spring water and I just blend it. Sometimes we strain it. Laura doesn't like it strained, but I love it because I like drinking milk. I always did. So sometimes I strain it and then I use the pulp for cookies. So the good thing about that is that you, there's no waste. And the almond milk will last four or five days in the fridge. Cheers.